Hello lovely creatives, hope you're all doing well. Um, today I'm going to look at something a little bit different and I'm using a different program to Canva. Um, here I'm on my Coral Paint Shop Pro uh, number 9. It's um, an old program I have and um, there are more recent versions so if you're interested go and have a look at Coral Paint Shop Pro. Coral spelt C-O-R-E-L. Okay, um, as you can see, here's um, a photo. This is a photo I took in Fuji, Italy. It's um, a town in the, um, in the center of Italy, uh, famous for its uh, natural water spa and um, it's obviously the the Fuji uh, water Fuji mineral water which is really famous okay Fuji is spelled F I U double G I okay now this is a photo of the um, Fuji theater I'm not sure if you can see there it says Teatro Comunale okay um, I've already worked on this photo um, and given it a more um, ethereal, uh, sort of slightly blurred touch around the, the edges. Um, but I want to show you how to do something um, to make parts of the, the image stand out. Now, um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with uh, Ansel Adams, the, um, the famous photographer here we are here's a few of his um, photographs very famous let me go to I'd like to go up to the Wikipedia of Ansel Adams let's have a look okay you can go to the Ansel Adams gallery to have a look um, here it says he was born February the 20th, 1902 and uh, passed on April the 22nd, 1984. And here's a little about bit. Ansel Easton Adams was an American landscape photographer and environmentalist known for his black and white images of the American West. Okay. And he, he helped found a group called uh, F-64, an association of photographers advocating pure photography, which favored sharp focus and the use of the full tonal range of a photograph. Okay, so let's go back to images. And as you can see, this is one of his. In fact, they're, they're all his on this page, I believe. All I did, I went up to, I went on to Google, looked for Ansel Adams, and instead of going on all, I typed on images to have a look. And you can see some of the stark contrasts in his photos. Fabulous. Okay, well, I'm not obviously of this level, <laughs> but I thought I'd try and give my um, my photo of Fuji um, more of a contrast. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create another layer. I've brought the photograph into Coral. Um, it probably works the same on Photoshop or Affinity or any other photo editing uh, program that you use. Okay, so on Coral I go up to Layers and I'm going to create a new raster layer. Okay, in Coral it opens a new box and um, highlights in the Layers palette. Okay, I don't want yellow obviously, so I've clicked on that and I'm going over here to the hex code um, I believe it's 80, 80, 80. Okay, I want this mid-grey. 
Okay, so as you can see, I've got the grey here and the blend mode. I'll change it here to soft light. Okay. And click on that. And in my box of layers, now you can see I've got the, the background, which is the main photo. And I've created this, uh, this second layer on top. And I've, I've got it to soft light. Um, the opacity is too high, so I'm just going to drag it down somewhat to... Let's put it on four and see how that works. Then I'm uh, going to click on paintbrush on the left. Could you see? And I've clicked on that and the toolbox has opened at the top. So, hardness, okay, we'll make it a bit softer, maybe 38, density, thickness, opacity 7, blend mode I'll leave as normal. Okay, so you can see my paintbrush, uh, the size is um, set at 50, okay, can you see it as I'm, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to move in. And as you can see, there are these. Um, there's a shadow of a lamp. And if you look up to the top right, can you see the the lamp, the old-fashioned lamp up here? I don't know whether it's an original lamp. And there's a rather nice shadow of it here. So I'm just going to click on this. And as you can see. Not much is happening, so I'm going over to the right and I'm going to bring up the opacity. In fact, I'm going back to normal in the blend mode. Let me just check what's happening here. Nothing much is happening. So, ah, there we are. Can you see as I come up on the opacity? it's coming a bit darker. So I'm just going to dot in and make the lamp a bit darker. I'm, I'm sticking to the areas. You can either just hold down your left key and drag. There we are. And I'm getting quite a nice effect of the lamp. So let me zoom out. And there you can see I've got a very good contrast there. Okay, there are also some um, other natural shadows up the top. First of all, though, let's go over to the, the sign, which says Teatro Comunale, and make that stand out a little bit. So, if I, make, if I stay as I am, with the black. Can you see the black? I'm now going to try with the white. And as you can see, we're getting a brighter series of the font. Can you hear my phone ringing? I wonder who that is. Okay, so that makes it stand out a little bit. But I'm going back up here, switching to the black. And I'm going to try and get some of these rather nice chiaro scuro, I think they call it. So I'm just dragging down on the parts that are already darker. To give it more of a contrast. Let's have a look. Let's see how that worked out. As you can see, it's brought out the the dark. Possibly a little bit too dark. Let me have a look here. If I do it here. Okay. And more of the ornate parts. So I'm just getting a sort of a chiaro scuro effect. 
if I move in, you can see that it's quite nice. And let me just move along. Nice bars there, might make that stand out a little bit. The window here on the right. And can you see, I'm just trying to keep the um, the shape of the arches up here of the dome. Let's come up the top. We've got some more sculptures at the top. And that is all I am doing. I'm just trying to bring out more of the contrast. Oops. Okay, now I'm going to do something. I'm going to turn off the layer which is the one I've been painting on, so that you can see the difference, if any. Can you see? I'll move in a little bit so that you can see even better. This is with the difference, with the paint strokes. And this is without the paint strokes. Um, this is a very good technique to use, especially in landscape. Uh, landscapes or buildings, architecture, etc. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. And um, in the comments, I'll sorry, in the description, I'll also tell you a little bit more about the the theatre in uh, in Fuji. Okay, everybody, take care. Bye bye for now.